Hey guys, it's Kim. I'm back. Uh, the Crafty Nomad. I haven't made a video in a little bit. And I'm still, well, I'm making videos regularly. However, they haven't been showing you my projects. And I'm still not going to show you my projects. I just got a bunch of stuff to talk about that I recently got in the mail. Uh, magazine that I wanted to share with you guys. And yeah, so let's get started. Um, so of course I broke my yarn band and, uh, except if somebody, Christy and somebody else, Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy and somebody else said that, uh, band means buy, oh, something now, buy something that I forgot anyway. Yeah. Anyway, you guys saw my confession. And so things continue. So I got, I joined that Annie's uh, block of the month, the crochet block of the month. And after I got it, because I thought it was so pretty, I got it. Right. And then I was like, mm, after I got it, the first part of this block of the month, you get, uh, you got it for like, dollars or ten dollars something anyway it was just money off so hold on one second all right so yeah i saw this on instagram and i've seen it since then on facebook uh, <clears throat> and i just jumped right on in and then i looked and really it's kind of expensive but i'm gonna go with the ten dollars okay everybody gets knit crate i wasn't gonna get knit crate because I'm gonna get knit crate because um, everybody gets it, and I likely would not use that yarn, so I thought I would go with this. But honestly, it's about the same price as the knit crate, and the knit crate yarn is actually, you know, natural fibers, and this is acrylic. But anyway, it is this particular uh, package. So, so it comes in the package just like this this is how you receive it and every month i guess i'm going to get a little package this particular one was 9.99 this is supposed to be blocks one through three and but but it's gonna go up um to more than that I forgot what it is, but it's going to basically be about $24 um, a month for this. And honestly, you know, the Premier Yarn, I could have just bought the pattern. So, I don't know. I wonder if I can get out of it. Anyway, I already got it. Anyway, <clears throat> here we go. So, here's the pattern. Comes here in this nice little package. You get your crochet hooks that you're going to need as well as a... Uh, darning needle a um, yarn needle which is kind of cute because it I'll take them out so you can see them and hopefully I won't drop them it's it's metal and it's bent and I hope that that's bent on purpose uh, I don't know that might have been bent on accident because look at it I mean that doesn't help anything so just because it's bent like that I wonder if that was bent on accident I don't know I don't know, guys. Anyway, you get the two hooks and you get the pattern. And I will show you the pattern outside of this little package. It's the stitch guide. Hold on one second. Guys. So this is what it looks like. It's not actually the pattern in here. This is, at least I don't think so. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's just some general, uh, so you can see this. It's not a pattern the inside it's the crochet stitch guide so oh uh, yeah it's the stitch guide so that comes I chose you can either get it in these colors or you could get it in um, gray and I chose the gray colorways 
<laughs> so then the rest of it is here. So you get the two balls of Premier Anti-Pilling um, Yarn. Um, everyday Worsted. And let's see. The colorway, you get 203 yards, and the colorway is, what is this colorway? I'm not doing good here, huh? Donahue. So for the first three blocks, we're using Donahue. And then this little part is the actual pattern for the first three blocks. And you can see the one that I chose now you see the colors that I chose. So, I'm excited to get started on these blocks. So, I'm doing block one and block two and block three. I'm excited. So, there you go. Something new to try. So I got that. <clears throat> then let's see what we'll talk about next. Uh, Hershner's had uh, a they had a coupon for free shipping. Oh no, it was a uh, throwback shipping. So the shipping was like prices from years and years ago. So. You, and Hershey's usually has a pretty hefty shipping cost, so whenever you can get a shipping uh, discount, it's always good. So, uh, I was, I've was i been collecting books trying to avoid yarn, so I got this 500 plus crochet stitches. And you can imagine when I got this in the mail, and it all fit in the mailbox, I was like, what the heck? Because well, this book cost me $15. And I was like, I know I did not pay $15 for such a book. And I was totally like, what, what, what? But here's what I missed. You see that? Where it says with CD? So, <clears throat> this book, it, it says, uh, <clears throat> expand your creative crochet knowledge with this collection of 500 plus <clears throat> Unique stitch patterns and blocks from out of print stitch books that you have loved. Now brought back to you in one handy CD. So this is not, this is not, and I was like, this is not 500, nothing. So, <laughs> but here it is right here. So hopefully that will be worth my $15. Anyway, you know what? It pays to read. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I got that. And I also got uh, a bunch of DNC. Um, these were 59 cents each. And I am wanting to make some earrings. And this is what I, the type of thing I use to make my crochet earrings. So I got them in a, I got like 10 of these. Got a black. I'm going to go through all of them. Here's a variegated blue. That's going to make a pretty earring. I like to get the naturally brownie colors, and then here's a variegated gray. I got a couple of, you know, like a plum color, and um, yeah, so I just got a few of those to get ready to start making some earrings, <coughs> mostly for me. And, <coughs> excuse me, I just got a frog in my throat. Anyway, in the Hershner's pack came a couple of things. You know how they do. They fill the bag with other things that they have for sale. But this was a Red Heart catalog. And I didn't even actually thumb through this to see what they might have had new. But they have some really pretty things in here. Like some really cute patterns to do with like. Look at that. With the stripes yarn. And you know everybody's doing block parties and season of the granny. And so that is gorgeous. And then, oh, look at this. Somebody had wrote on one of the groups, can you do a afghan with the ombre yarn? And I was, I was like, of course. I did ombre yarn 
for my seated seat that I gave to my mother. You guys saw that, but look at that. That's done with ombre. <laughs> That's beautiful. And you can always get these patterns from her shirts, and a lot of times they have the pets, and you can get everything you need in one. Let's see if there's anything else interesting and pretty to show. I have never done the pooling, but see that? That's pretty interesting. And there's just a few more things in this Kirshner's Red Heart catalog, but I just wanted to share one or two. And um, let's see, wow. They have this whole like list. Well, I guess you can get ready to order it online and you can do like the worksheet of what you're looking for and then, then go online and order everything. That's pretty interesting. And yeah. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, look at this guy in the Huga. Most people pronounce this Huga. I need to look up how to pronounce it. I'm going to go with what everybody else is saying. The Huga yarn. But look at those pretty socks. That is super cute, and I would never do this. Well, I guess if I had like a baby's room, I would do this, and I'd make it bigger for, you know what, I would make this not a bath mat. I would actually make this a baby play mat and make it bigger, because those that pompadoodle stuff is really soft. So that's that. Okay, so that was that one. Hold on, I dropped a thing. I'm coming right back, I swear. Okay. This came in there also, and I just wanted to share this. This is the Hershner's We Heart Yarn Sale. And this is, they have a new yarn called Garden Party. And look at that. I would, I, I, I don't wear shawls, um, really, but look at how pretty that is. And that yarn comes in all those pretty colors. And you can actually get this kit for the shawl for $21.99. And if you caught a good uh, a shipping sale, that would be awesome. <clears throat> and then they have, according to this, all of the Premier uh, Everyday DK. Uh, it comes in 74 beautiful colors. It's a number three. And the balls, in, according to this, are all $2.99. So that would be awesome. And you get... The 100 gram ball, you get 273 yards um, in each ball. And so, I think that's a good deal. The last thing I wanted to show you, and this is the Premier uh, Color Packs. And this is a variety pack. Uh, in, this variety pack includes 21 mini skeins of everyday DK yarn from Premier, available in four different color palettes. Look at that. Now this right here would be very cute to the idea that I'm thinking is um, doing a, uh, what is it, an advent calendar swap. So these are $16.99. Um, each mini skein has, it's 100% acrylic, it has uh, 27 yards per mini skein and <clears throat> you could like just add a couple and make an advent calendar but the fun would be is making one and swapping with somebody else because you pick the colors then you won't know although I am considering making my own um, yarny advent calendar for the year so stay tuned for that so anyway that was my idea with that i just wanted to share that with you okay so i got that that came with the stuff i bought uh what else do i want to show you all right so i got this uh i hadn't bought a crochet magazine in a while so i got crochet <laughs> and um this has some really cool uh, garment type designs in it 
And you know, after the triumph of creating my or finishing my sweater, I've been on the, the in the in the mood to do another. And <clears throat> let me show you the back page with all of the patterns that are in this book. So, I think you can see, and then I'm going to show you one that I am so tempted to do, but I know I just do not have the patience, but I don't have the stamina. Like, I could start it, but this for sure would end up being a whip for a very long time. It would end up being a sleeping whip, I think, but... Let me try and get to, let me just show you the little girl's dress. Uh, it's called the frilly dress, and it's absolutely gorgeous. That's so gorgeous. Let's see what kind of yarn they use, because it seems like it would just be heavy. It's a lightweight three, and it is an acrylic. Um, yeah, you just use a lightweight three. They don't say what they use for the pattern, for their sample. They don't say. All right. So, some of that yarn I just showed you, that Everyday DK, would be awesome for that. I also think that uh, there's a variety of these hair wrap type scarves. I think that one is super cute because you can wear it like that. Or you can wear it like that. You saw that. Okay. That's super cute. But the one. Let me just look in the table of contents because I'm about to not find this. Or maybe it's second on that last page, but why y'all? Why? Okay, page 20. This dress actually does not look very hard to make, but I still feel like because of the number of stitches you would have to do, I would just bug out on this one, but I think that's fantastic. I really would love to uh, embark on this, but I just know. This is also uh, made, this sample here is made with the uh, Shepjes, and I know I didn't pronounce that right, but I know it's not Sheepjes. Uh, I try to pronounce it like the people who live there, who I've heard pronounce it, but that's not right either. But the Shep is uh, soft, fun, light DK weight yarn. It is fantastic. You could use, let's see, and that is an acrylic and cotton blend. So uh, you could almost use cotton cakes, but I'm not sure if cotton cakes uh, are... Um, or a number three or a number four, but look at how beautiful that is. I would love to have the stamina to wear the wherewithal, the stick to itiveness <laughs> to get that done. I used to have a minister that said stick to itiveness. I think he made that up. What do you think? Alright, and even something as simple as this Granny Square Kitchen Trio. This is made with a red heart rubby smoothie worsted weight cotton and these are uh, uh, it's a coaster a disc cloth and a pot holder and I think those are gorgeous anyway I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you in case you haven't seen inside that magazine and then let's see if I don't have anything else okay Nothing else crochet related, but let's talk about what Christy Cook made me do. Christy Cook, yep, Christy Cook from t Doddles. Uh, in one of her episodes, I believe last week, she talked about how uh, Happy Planner had everything on sale 70 to 75% off. So I hopped on over there and I got myself a planner for 2020 because I'm finding that uh, it is helping me. I, I just need to get it together. So just, you know, this is the monthly spread for March. And then I just wanna show you this girl. Why is she so cute? That's a Hobby Lobby sticker. 
anyway, and then after your month, you get um, weekly spreads like that. And then, right, I bought some extra pages to add in where you can put in your project goals. And for me, I do this page for my writing, and I have to say it's helping. And then I did uh, the back of it. They're double-sided. And these, this is my March goals. Um, uh, my biggest March goals for my crochet is to make another um, Love You Teddy. And to complete another uh, Granny Rectangle Afghan. Except the one I'm doing for May, I mean March is going to be just the rectangle no squares and that is going to be a gift for my chicago bestie so yep yeah, that's my happy planner and of course i had to get you know i needed some more stickers i got these from amazon some monthly planning planner stickers and so they have a page for every month nice and themed that's january and then i got the faith planner stickers so that i can keep Anyway, hopefully you guys can hear all of that. Um, that, I think, is all I want to share for today. Uh, real soon, I'm going to show you some of my projects. I have been busy. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you've seen some things. If you follow me, uh, our group on Facebook, you would have seen some of the things I finished for the month of February. Anyway, guys, uh, looking forward to the season of the Granny Square reveals that are coming up. Um, people have been showing things throughout the time since they announced the challenge, but I'm looking forward to March 18th when we're just hopefully going to be inundated with videos from everybody who has been participating in this hashtag season of the Granny Square. And um, yeah, I think that's it. That's going to be all. And I will talk back on the next video. In the meantime, keep it crafty, guys. Bye. One last thing I forgot to mention is I have been blogging on the writing channel, the Crafty Nomad Life channel. Please go ahead and check me out over there. I will link it down below. Bye. Hey, guys. Sorry about the background noise, but I forgot to tell you that I have another subscription box that I am going to um, show you coming up next. I already showed this on my writing uh, channel, so um, my author tube channel, but I wanted you guys to see it too because I know you guys like drinking tea, so here it comes. Hi guys, this is my Sips By box, and I learned about Sips By um, from a author tuber that I follow here on YouTube. And um, I decided to give it a try. She had like a $5 off code. So I decided to give it a try. And let me just show you how it looks. I've already broken into it, but this is how it comes. And this is a tea subscription box. And then it says, I've had it already for a while. I just haven't shown it. February teas. And then you open it up. And on the back, so when you sign up, you ask, uh, you, you take a little quiz, and that's how they determine what they are going to give you. So, if you see it, it says made for Kimberly, which I think is a great personal touch. And it says, we hope these teas keep you warm during the colder months, Kimberly. Sip them slow and let them steam, let the steam envelop you um, while you dream of warmer times but for now cozying up inside has never been so delicious and then they ask you to share on social media so that's what I'm doing so I have um, original chai and it's called Chico chai I have a coconut escape blooming tea uh, by flower pot tea I have a vanilla cream spice by Davidson's Organic Teas and a Dragon Claws Oolong Tea by Udian Tea.
and it, it actually tells you how to teach them and everything. Now, the only one I have tried, I'll show you later. So, this is the next thing in the box is uh, these are reusable cloth tea bags for the loose leaf teas. That's how that comes. And then you get, uh, this is the one I've tried, the vanilla cream sp uh, spice. And I got uh, three of those. I had four, so I've, I've used one and I enjoyed it. This is the Chico Chai, it's loose leaf. This one is definitely in a bag. And then you got uh, the Dragon Cloth Oolong tea, which I haven't tried yet. And this one is the uh, Flower Pot Tea Company. Um, this one was the Blooming Tea. Uh, Coconut Escape Blooming Tea. And then, what else is in here? You get, sorry, you get, um, oh, you get the advertisements from each tea company. So that's from the Blooming, uh, the Flower Pot Tea Company. This is from the Udion Tea Company. And then just you get a Davidson's Organics postcard, which is nice. I can use that in some happy mail that I might be sending out. And that's it. And I should be getting my next Sips by box very soon. So I'm excited about it. I just wanted to share that with you. I'll talk back soon. Bye.